Today's lesson is on 10 times greater. Make sure that you take any notes that are on the slides unless the slide says do not copy this slide. Here we go. So you don't need to copy this slide, but remember this is our standard scale that we have in our notebook. And today we're going to be specifically looking at level three, which is recognizing multi-digit whole numbers um, that the digit to the left of a number is 10 times what it represents to the right. I do need you to write down your learning goal, which is I can recognize in multi-digit whole numbers a digit to the left of a number is 10 times what it represents to the right. And we're going to talk about what that means today. So let's look at this model really quick. And if you need to copy this place value chart, please pause the video and do so. So if I had these little dots that are in the upper right hand corner and every single one of these dots was equal to one, let's say I had 10 dots, okay? I have 10 dots that are equal to one. Well, all of these 10 together, this is like one times 10, isn't it? So one times 10 is the same as one dot that would be equal to 10, or one times 10 is equal to 10. Let's look at another example. This is what your board should look like. So now, let's say all of these little dots that are in my upper right hand corner, these are all worth 10 now, all right? So I'm going to put all of my 10 dots into the tens column. So each dot is worth 10. So now I have 10 tens, don't I? So I have 10 times 10, because I have 10 of them, because I'm doing 10 10 times. All together, if you counted by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So 10 times 10 would be equal to 100 or 100 dot. All right? So a 10 times 10 is 100. So the hundreds place is 10 times greater than the tens place. So your picture should look something like this. Let's do another example. Let's say all of my dots now are equal to 100. So I'm going to put all of my dots in the hundreds column. And each dot is worth 100. So I have 100, but I have 10 hundreds, right? Because I'm adding 100 10 times, so I can multiply because they're the same value, okay? And so now, if I counted by hundreds 10 times, so I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So 100 times 10 is 1,000, okay? So if I go from the hundreds place to the thousands place, I'm multiplying by 10 because the thousands place is 10 times greater than the hundreds place. And your picture should look something like that. So 110 is equal to 10 times 1. 100 is equal to 10 times 110. And 1,000 is equal to 10 times 100. Therefore, 1 times a 10 is 110. 1 times a 10 is 110 or 10. Okay? This is saying the same thing. 1 times 10 is 10, right? 1 times 10 is 10. The tens place then 
is 10 times greater than the ones place. All right? So here, 10 times 10 is equal to 100. Or 10 times 10 is 100. I'm just saying the same thing, just putting some th things in word and symbol form. The hundreds place is 10 times greater than the tens place. Okay, now let's look at another instance. So here, this is 10 ones, and then I have another group of 10 ones, okay? This group of 10 ones is right here. The second group of 10 ones is right here. So all together, this is 20 ones or two tens, okay? Two tens or 20 ones. All we did is this ones place, the tens place is 10 times greater. So I have to do 10 of these ones for every one 10, right? I need 10 ones for every 110. Let's look at another example. Here, I have groups of four tens. So this is a group of four tens, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, that's one of my groups. Here's another group that's equal to 100. Another group that's equal to 100. And my last group of 10 tens is equal to 100. So here, I have all of my hundreds. Because it takes 10 tens to get to 100. Because hundreds are 10 times bigger. So, I have all of these hundreds is equal to 400 or four thousands. Okay? Four thousands or four hundreds are the same thing. So let's try this. I have 10 times four ones, all right? 10 times four ones equals how many ones? So I have four ones, so here's a one, here's a one, here's a one, here's a one. And I'm going to multiply each one of these ones by four. Or sorry, I'm gonna multiply each one of these ones by 10. Sorry, it's 10 times four ones. So every one of these ones, I'm going to multiply by 10. So really, I have 10 times four, right? Well, 10 times four is 40, right? So I have 40 ones. 40 ones is the same as four tens, isn't it? Okay, 40 ones is equal to four tens. So, 10 times as many as 1 10, which is the same as this, is 10 tens. Okay, 10 times as many as 1 10 is 10 tens. 10 times as many as something tens is 30 tens. So, 10 times three tens is 30 or three hundreds, okay? Because 10 times 30 is 300 or three in the hundreds place, all right? 
10 times as many as 900s is 9,000s. So I have 10 times as many as 900s is equal to 9,000s. There's the math for you. And 2,000s, 2,000s is equal to 20 hundreds or 20 times a hundred. So let's try a word problem. Matthew has 30 stamps in his collection. Matthew's father has 10 times as many stamps as Matthew. How many stamps does Matthew's father have? So our question is, how many stamps does Matthew's father have? So I'm going to take this 30 and I know that Matthew is 30 and his father has 10 times as many. So times means to multiply. So I'm going to do 10 times as many. 30 times 10. Okay, my basic fact is 3 times 1, right? 3 times 1 is 3. And then I have two zeros here. So I'm going to add two zeros. So the answer is 300 stamps. Jane saved $800. Her sister has 10 times as much money. The question is, how much money does Jane's sister have? Well, I know Jane has $800. And her sister has 10 times, times means to multiply, as much. So the question is, how much money does Jane's sister have? Well, my basic fact, Something I know off the top of my head is 8 times 1 is 8. I have 1, 2, 3 zeros. Remember 1, 2, 3, cha, cha, cha. So the final answer is Jane's sister has $8,000. So let's talk about this one more time. If I want to talk about ones, the tens place is 10 times greater than the ones place. If I want to go to the tens place, I need 10 tens to go to the hundreds place. And if I want to go from hundreds to thousands, I need to do times 10. Now this works the other way as well. If I want to go to the thousands place, I need to divide by 10 because that's the inverse of, of multiplication. Again, if I want to go from hundreds to tens, I divide by 10. 10. And if I want to go from 10s to 1s, I have to divide by 10 as well. So now it's your turn. Here's the problem you need to work on tonight. So fill out the place value chart just like we did in a few problems earlier. If you don't know how to do that, please rewind the video. Here's another one for you to complete. And then I need you to complete these sentences as well. Thank you so much for your hard work and I will see you tomorrow. Please make sure you think about your learning goal one more time and think about where you are after watching this lesson.